hey guys, if you want those top grades, you're going to have to think like it. Here is how you can get into the mindset of a student that gets top grades. And this could be the first step to you improving your grades as well. Now, the first thing you need to know is if you want to get those top grades, you just need to stop focusing on grades. It sounds silly because we're talking about grades, grades are what you write in your CV, grades are what employers want to see, but focusing on grades does not help you. Focus on feedback. Now I give my students loads and loads of feedback because the feedback is how they can improve. There's an excellent, excellent video you can find on YouTube called Austin's Butterfly. This little kid draws a butterfly and at first, honestly, it's not very good. Now just think, if you'd given him a grade at that point, he may have been well, really sad by that grade, or he might have been really happy by that grade, but you're just giving him a grade. You'll see throughout the video clip that by giving feedback and feedback and feedback, this kind of like ugly little drawing at the bit, beginning turns into this beautiful butterfly. And this is all based on feedback. So ignore the grades, focus on how you can improve focus on the feedback. You have to have a positive mindset. When you walk into that exam, there will be someone that you overhear, maybe it's one of your friends, maybe it's someone way, way back in the queue going, oh my god, I didn't learn this, I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail. You need to be positive, you need to have a positive mindset. Focusing on everything that went wrong just prevents you from spending that time improving. I would much rather, instead of stressing out for five, ten minutes, that you sat down and actually got on with some work. It happened, it was in the past. Positive mindset, this is how we can change and improve things for the future. Now, not only do you need to focus on your vision, but you need to focus on your physical and your mental health. These are really, really important, especially at such a stressful time of year. So, get your exercise, eat right, sleep right, relax, do meditation. This is really, really important. I know it's time that you're not spending revising, but you will not do well in the exams if you are tired, if you are overstressed, and if you are hungry because you didn't take time to eat. Take the time out to look after yourself. You cannot do well in the exams if you've let your physical and your mental health slide. These are both so, so important to your exam success. If you wanna get those top grades, you need to be thinking about the future. Don't let setbacks keep you down. Something happened, okay, you may not have done very well in yesterday's exam, but focus on today's exam. Focus on what you can do to make this a positive experience. Now, the last thing, I said this before, but if you wanna get those top grades, you have to put the work in. You have to work hard. You have to be focused, you have to be dedicated. Ignore those external distractions. Ignore what's going on on television. Ignore the fight that you may just had with friends. And I know it's so, so hard, but in the future, when you're writing your exam results down on a job application form, you cannot put a little asterisk next to it and go, but my boyfriend said something really mean to me this morning. Because, well, that's going to happen. And I'm sorry, but you just have to focus on your exams. Focus and work hard. And I know that I sound really, really mean by saying all of this, but if we want to get you those top grades, we have to be thinking like a student who gets top grades. So you need to look after your physical and mental health. You need to stay positive. Don't let setbacks get you down. You need to work hard and you need to focus on not grades but how you can improve so a little bit naggy but i hope you find this useful hey guys thanks for watching i really hope you found this video helpful if you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Conos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.